So finally, three-step hiring framework. Now with proper mindset acquired, understanding how to build and uh, how, how to find and hire software developers. Now we are ready for this process. We spent a couple months with my team and thousands of dollars to develop this system. It will make magic for you. So just follow it. And it's the, the biggest part about that is that simple one to, to do. So hiring services is always risky, right? And you are paying because you are paying upfront for the thing that does not exist yet. Okay. Successful partnership between buyer and service provider happens when there are three things, trust, confidence, al and alignment on values. That's how I created my three-step framework to hiring software development agencies. Three-step framework. First step, ask for references. That will build a trust. Validate their portfolio. This will build confidence. And talk to people in the agency. This will align you on values. Let's drive straight into step one. Ask for references. How to build trust. Trust is in a service comes best through a friend's recommendation. Author anonymous, right? Trust in a service comes best through a friend's recommendation. So what I will ask you to do and would suggest you to do, ask friends and family members. Those who build software for their business, maybe. Those who launch tech startups. Maybe you have some software developers. They always have a network of agency owners and uh, they know agencies that are good. Yes, and ask, their, ask those people um, uh, for reference, for recommendations uh, of agencies they know, uh, they used, especially those that use, not just know, but used their services to build their software. In case you don't have that many people, the next round is you ask people you don't know yet, but you know those people like from the social media and you know that those people build successful software till, till this moment. They know a lot of software development agency, trust me. And you need to collect at least three agency references so we can talk to them, at least three. So if you still cannot find enough, check what established agencies you are following in your social networks you know for a long time and maybe they might be a good fit because you have already kind of basic level of trust in them, right? With some uh, ideal, those agencies have some, have some good content and cases uh, online and you can uh, double check it. Also, ask Vitaly if they have any free slot at Softformance right now, <laughs> just in case. Maybe um, at this at this moment we don't have any free slots of recording this lesson, but maybe you're um, watching this lesson uh, three months later, and at that time we might have a good uh, pair of free hands. So you can also give it a try. After you collected free agencies from references or agencies like ours <laughs> okay uh, then you are ready to go to the second step of our three-step uh, hiring framework validate their portfolio that will help you build the confidence in the company so that they can deliver or not you are only as good as your last job the agency is only as good as uh, its last job so we have two tasks to validate agency and build the confidence first one is check portfolio Second one is talk to their clients. So task number one, check portfolio. You have to find um, uh, something, some kind of project in, uh, in portfolio, in agency portfolio, which is very close to you, what you want to build. You need to find a project in agency portfolio, a project which is very similar to what you want to build. Similarity, ideally it's same idea, very similar idea to what you want to build and for very similar market and niche. That will be the best uh, thing because if you cannot find like that, it's, it's really tricky. Then you want to find at least a project which is at least f uh, with a similar idea, but maybe for different market and niche. Uh, finally, you might find something, some software idea which was developed by that agency, which is a different idea, but for the same market and same niche. So some kind of similarity is a must to find within their portfolio. Company with the closest project in its portfolio wins because they will understand your project idea better, they will understand your market better, and overall performance and communication, the understanding, the amount of information you will have to, to explain to them, all that will be much easier and better if you find company that has portfolio project which is similar to what you want to build. It's obvious, right? But a lot of people miss that. Task number two of this step two, talk to company clients. You want to understand how successful and how happy were their former clients working with this agency and whether they, 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 these clients would recommend the agency. So how to do this? Ask for free reference 
from that agency, talk to the agency, ask them for free reference of their former clients. Then you go and contact each of them, these clients, by phone. You need a small 10 minutes conversation and ask specific questions, which these are the questions. For each of these clients, former clients, you need to ask these questions. What company, what kind of uh, project they built, uh, they built for you? Where you happy with the results and with the process? Did it go according to the plan? Or maybe it was uh, underestimated, went across uh, uh, budget and uh, deadline were missed, or maybe it was all in time and in uh, within the budget. What things you would like to improve in that cooperation with that company? Is your software still alive and in use? How hard is it to keep code base up to date? Is it hard to scale? These last three questions are very good questions to understand the quality of their um, uh, developers, their development pros, not only the management pros and communication. Without technical code review, without knowing how to interview developers, with these questions, former clients will give you very useful information. The projects that run and are that still run and are relatively easy to support and maintain, it means that the development team of that agency on this project was pretty skilled. That's very important. I want to put it in red. I want to put it in red because this is a very important thing. This is the main secret to how you can get good agency with good developers without knowing how to code and without understanding how to interview them because you are not a programmer. This is the key to everything. Don't skip this step. If you like 80% of the answers of that former client, it's a check. It's a good, good sign. But if there are a lot of complaints, especially about how agency dealt with problematic situations, that's a red flag. Probably you want to skip that agency. This second step is powerful. It's probably, I would say, even more important than the first step and the th th third step. Second step is the most powerful. Checking the references, talking to their former clients and uh, checking, finding similar project in their portfolio. Don't skip it, do this as thorough as possible. Step three of our three-step hiring framework. Talk to people. You need to align on values. The same software development vendor might work for me, for me but not, might not work for you. And not because of they are not trustworthy or they don't have a skills, but because you have a different vision, you have different values, you have different outlook, you have communication style, you have your work discipline and work ethic is a bit different from mine. And you are looking for more relaxed people, I'm looking for more disciplined, uh, straight to the point, right? And so we're just different styles, different people. That's why this third step, while it's not the most important of these three steps framework, but it's also still uh, something you need to take into account. If you find people that are on the same way with you, plus first two steps are fine, then it will be a breeze for you to work with these people. So you need to talk to as many people in the company of that, uh, the, of that agency um, as you can, as many people in the company as you can. It will give you better overall impression about company, about people, about attitude, about the mood, atmosphere, etc., etc. So possible roles you can talk uh, within that agency, project manager, sales manager, CEO, CTO, designer, developers, what you need to take into account after you talk to these people. You need to think about uh, what is their company size, how many years they own the market, how big they are, right? What is their work ethic and discipline, communication style, format of friendly, that's my term, <laughs> transparency, time zone overlap, you need at least two hours usually, overall vibe and atmosphere, and finally gut feeling and intuition, this is a big one. So, for example, 10,000 employee enterprise will never hire five people software development agency that is just one year on the market, right? It uh, usually looks for more established vendors. Similarly, software agency with 300 engineers will not help a first-time startup with 10K budget. It onboards much bigger projects to stay profitable, right? So it's also about the fit on multiple levels from atmosphere to communication style to the size to some simple business facts. So. This is the last step, now it's decision time. Pick a winner based on those three steps and go into the first small paid transaction together. And more on that first small paid transaction, I will tell you in the next lesson. Now, I want to thank you for, the, for, uh, for watching this lesson. Don't forget about your homework and see you in the next lesson.